Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm, perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to get this. I'll be right behind you.
Lead the way, Calhoun. Let's get going. Let's stick together. Yes, here it is. We'll need to break through this to get to the elevator. We should have chosen the Lambda reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. Let's hope we don't run into any more of those soldiers. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Rosenberg, thank God you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now there's no time to waste. Looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the but the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. 
Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. Alright, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Simmons, can you hear me? It's ready.
calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. I can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator.
everywhere. We've got to get out How of here. Hold yourself together. If we don't get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Look out! Get out of here! I can tell. Ah. <laughs>
was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh. begun preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. down here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Cover. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. Very good. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating...
course there. All right, we've reached full charge again. Open the field, Calhoun! <laughs> There he is! Calhoun, you've arrived! When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun! His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement! you made it. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this hair-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. <laughs> 